statements. I call the member for Borkham Hills. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Acting Speaker. Mr. Acting Speaker, I rise uh, to uh, bring the House's attention to a public debate which is occurring in my electorate of Borkham Hills and indeed the adjoining electorate of Castle Hill um, over the matter of alcohol and the abuse of alcohol by minors. Mr. Acting Speaker, members of this House would be aware that the Social Policy Committee chaired by uh, the member for Coogee has called for submissions and indeed is holding an inquiry into that very, very important subject. And Mr Acting Speaker, my community, led by the member for Castle Hill, myself, uh, licensees and of course the local, local area command, decided to use that as an opportunity to workshop new policy and investigate new ways in which the community can address the abhorrent abuse of alcohol by, by minors. One of the major issues that we've been caused to uh, bring our attention to has been the use of alcohol at home by minors under the supervision or indeed with the, um, with the concurrence of parents and guardians. Uh, and indeed that, is, uh, that has created a fair bit of discussion. In holding a number of workshops and, uh, and, and, and meetings and briefings with uh, the, both the liquor industry as well as the police, we have uh, put in a submission which um, we're, continually, we're going to continually to work on. Um, and uh, it is my view, having been party to the submission, uh, that uh, the communities right across this state are actually very much concerned about the increase of violence and alcohol fuelled violence and particularly that that occurs on our streets late at night. We saw that, of course, in the winter recess, Mr Acting Speaker, with the unnecessary death of a number of young people because of alcohol-related violence. Most concern is, of course, the tragic fact that disappropriate, disproportionate amount of alcohol-related violence involves our young people, both as perpetrators and, of course, sadly, as victims. These things are, not, are more heartbreaking than an innocent young person being the victim of an unprovoked unprovoked alcohol driven violent attack. As a family friendly constituency, in fact many people call Borkham Hills Nappy Valley, um, we have a very large youth population and this concern is felt very strongly in my shire. The issue of alcohol abuse and related violence has been raised with me by members of the community on countless occasions and clearly is a strong commitment from the community to resolve the problem. I'm sure that all the Hills residents would agree that as a community we have an important duty to ensure that our young people are safe when they go out at night. What can be a higher priority than guaranteeing the safety of our youth? It is simply unacceptable that our streets on occasions deteriorate into alcohol fueled lawless chaos in the early hours of Saturday and Sunday mornings. And I'm not saying that the Hills District is any worse than any other area, Mr Acting Speaker. In fact, my electorate only has two pubs, uh, as opposed to, I'm sure, when I look around the chamber, the constituencies of other uh, members here present uh, would probably be able to boast two pubs per corner. But I've only got two pubs in my electorate, Mr Acting Speaker, and it, and it is an issue in my electorate. So I can only imagine what it's like in some of the other constituencies. But just as concerning is the apparent increase in minors being irresponsibly supplied by alcohol by their parents or other adults at the point to the point of inebriation. Our communities recognise that this type of exposure to minors to alcohol is simply unacceptable regardless of who supplies it to them. All communities in New South Wales are determined to tackle these issues to ensure that the level of alcohol abuse and related violence is drastically reduced, especially among our young people. It is with this in mind that the member of Castle Hill and I made this submission and called for public input from the, our community. It is my belief that the emphasis needs to be placed upon the responsible consumption of alcohol as opposed to merely focusing on the responsible service of alcohol. Our submission, as was the result of wide consultation within the Hills community, with particular significant contributions from the Hills local area command, licensed venues and indeed parents. There are some very interesting and promising proposals to come from these consultations. Among them were stronger penalties for public intoxication banning supervising adults from supplying alcohol to children not in their care, and the venue managers should be responsible for the consumption of alcohol on their premises, that is, non-licensed venues. The submission also recognised the importance of individual responsibility when it comes to alcohol consumption. There are naturally a great deal of solutions that have exempted in the past with mixed success. 
I'm certainly not in agreement with all of these that have been proposed, but I think it's important that we have a public consensus in favour of reform. It is only through open dialogue with the community that we can stand a chance of fixing this most serious social issue. Thank you, Mr Speaker.